Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Zero to Hero. Yes, welcome back to Club One, episode 17 of Zero to Hero. I'm Wes, and today we say goodbye to the first club in this year's Zero to Hero. We are moving on from Boston United. We'll have a quick look to see where we where we are with Boston and uh, a review of where we where we've been and uh, where, like how we got to where we are now with Boston, and uh, and then we'll take a look at who I'm going to be moving on to. It, it's been a, a hard decision, this one, because without giving away too much early on, it's it's a big jump. And some people may think it's not necessarily the right move to make, but logic dictates that I should go. And that is what I'm basing this decision on. Purely logic that it that the, the, the jump is, or the, 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 the gap between where Boston are and where this other team are is too big a gap for me to ignore and it's got to be a good thing for to progress within this save and within my managerial career within the game I think it's time that we did leave so we'll have a, a look at the league table uh, we're, we're currently sitting in second place only one point behind Alfreton Town and this is why a lot of people might think that I'm doing the wrong thing I'm leaving Boston when they they stand a chance for the first time of actually winning the league, we were actually in first place for all of two matches, and we slipped because we went on a massive unbeaten run. Go have a look at our schedule. Uh, you last saw us when we beat Bradford and Nuneaton in the league. We then managed to get a six-one win in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. We went through an entire month in all competitions where we didn't lose a single game, didn't even draw a game, and we we did manage to go top, but then we, we managed to lose three games in a row, two in the league, and losing in the FA Cup first round against Gillingham. Uh, we then got back to winning ways in the FA Trophy third qualifying round and managed to win our last two league games, uh, which pushed us back up to second and only one point behind the league leaders, who we were supposed to be playing soon. And that's probably where we we would have we would would have been back around this time anyway. We would have shown you the Gateshead game, the Kettering game in this episode, and then we would have played through until Alfreton Town uh, at the end of February, which would have been a nice place to to stop um, when because they're first in the league. But then they might not have been first in the league at that point. But that's by the by. Uh, we'll have a look at our players, our squad, and see where they are. Like see what they've been doing. Uh, in terms of goals and assists and average ratings. We'll have a look at selection info. Right, okay, so if we sort by average rating, our highest uh, average rating at the moment is Sam Osborne, our right winger, with an average rating of 7.75 from 22 appearances. Eight goals and 10 assists. He's done really well this season, his first season with us. Second, Jordan Slew has been absolutely on fire. He's... Average rate in a 7.70. He's scored 20 goals in all competitions and three assists from 19 appearances and one sub appearance. Uh, Andy Thanogi, I'm not really counting him with because he's got a 7.50, but he's only made two appearances, scored one goal and got an assist. But I mean, players like Mark Helm, who we brought in this season, he's been fantastic. If we look at see who's got the most assists, Sam Osborne again. Romeo Akinola is in second place, despite only playing 12 games this season. He's done really well. That He's taken his chances when he's been in the team. And I'm hoping he'll have a decent career. Maybe I might even take him with me where I'm going. I don't know yet. Probably not, because I don't think he's at that standard. But we've had a few flops this season as well. I mean, Jack McKay, we brought him in at the beginning of the season and he's not done anything for us really I mean he's only scored two goals in all competitions from 11 appearance uh, sorry two goals in the league from 11 starts and an average rating of 6.58 not really what you would call clinical uh, but luckily Alex Fletcher one of our loan signings this season he's done quite well since coming into the side he's had made eight appearances in the league two goals an assist and an average rating of 6.97 so he's he's played really well uh, like I said it's going to be uh, a shame to say goodbye to uh, Boston because we, this would be our third season at Boston and 
it looked like we were on course to win the league but like I said I just can't I can't pass up this opportunity to move on um, I did have a lot of interviews with a lot of clubs namely MK Dons Carlisle um, who else Bradford and to be fair a lot of the a lot of the teams couldn't afford my compensation payment to Boston, <clears throat> but finally somebody was w- willing to pay all that money to get me out of my contract. And we'll, we're going to go and have a look at uh, the team that we're going to be moving to. That's right, we are, we are we're still negotiating the contract. I've negotiated myself an extra £150 a week. They, they initially wanted to um, only pay me £700 a week, which is what I'm on here at Boston. But uh, I managed to negotiate up to £850 a week, which is a lot. Uh, it's £150 a week more than what I'm on at the moment. Also with a 15% promotion rise and a 35% pr- uh, relegation wage drop. So there is a, a chance that my wage could take a hit. But we're going to be going, if we have a look at the club information, we are going to be going to League One. They currently sit in 24th in League One. Yeah, they're rock bottom of the league. They're only six points from safety though. And I feel, because we're only in mid-December at the moment, We've still got the January transfer window to uh, go through, so I can bring in some players to strengthen the side and hopefully get them out of the relegation zone. The minimum expectation from the board is to avoid relegation, so we should theoretically be able to do it. We've got a transfer budget of 988000 and a wage budget of 54000 a week, and i just have a quick look to see what they're currently spending. Well, if we have a quick look, if we go at their contract information, I think they're pay, paying most of their wage budget out, but we should be able to uh, transfer some of the bu- transfer budget into wage budget. We should have a little bit to spend. So I'm going to go ahead and finalise that, and I'm going to go through all the meetings that uh, I have to do at, at the start of an, uh, going to a new club, and... Um, then we will get ready for my first game in charge of Exeter, which is Warsaw away from home, 17th in the league in only three days' time. So I've got to cobble together a a tactic, look at the team, uh, and I've only got three days to do it. So we'll join you when we're ready for that first game in charge of Exeter. Okay, so here we are, ready for our first game in charge of Exeter City, and we're going to be playing away from home against Warsaw. We've gone with a familiar-looking uh, formation, but different sort of tactic to what we're used to playing. We're going to be playing a controlled possession rather than the gig and press, but we're still going with the 4-2-3-1 that we had when we left Boston, and we've gone with a starting eleven of. Pyme in goal, a back four of Moore, Taylor, McDonald, Wright and Dacres Cog- Cogley. Apologies if I said that wrong. A midfield of Reeves and Sutton and John Jules up front with Clark, Froxi- Froxilius and Martin behind him. In fact, John Jules. With a name like John Jules, he's got to have a nickname and it's got to be The Cat. Why is my T not working? The. Would be good if I could type, wouldn't it? The Cat. For those of you that don't get the reference, shame on you. <laughs> go, and rock, go and watch Red Dwarf. Okay, so I'm going to go and say let's give the fans a performance. It's done nothing. So here we are, ready for our first game. We've kicked off. Let's hope we can get a decent result. Warsaw are 17th in the table at the moment. We are obviously rock bottom, so it would be nice to get off to a winning start. This is a... A team that really we should be at least being competitive against. We're keeping a, a lot of possession so far. 15 minutes in, we've had 64% of possession. From what I can gather from pre-match press conferences is that Warsaw also uh, favoured the possession style of football. So, you know, if we're keeping more possession than them, then we're doing well. We've had two shots so far. N- none of them worthy of a highlight. We haven't had anything in terms of highlights so far. It's been quite a boring first half. No highlights so far. We're 30 minutes in. And we finally have our first highlight. Martin with the ball to Froxilias. Frox- Clark now through to the cat. And he can't quite get there. They're coming back at us now though. We need to defend. They're through on goal though. And it's a good save from Pime or Pim. I'm going to call him Pime. Can we defend this corner? We have Reeves comes clear with the ball can he find an out we're passing it around nicely in the midfield but eventually it goes back to the goalkeeper we're passing it around and 
if we keep going back, um, we're going to lose possession. We have, but Reeves wins it back in midfield. Moore Taylor, McDonald. Long ball forward to the cat, who's through on goal. Can he find the back of the net? He hasn't. Straight at the keeper. We're defending a free kick now, and it's gone way over. They've hit it far too long, but they're going to come back at us. Can we win possession back? Can't, but they shoot straight over the bar. It's looking better. A bit more uh, attacking play now. As we go in towards half time. I mean going in at half time 0-0 is quite good for us. That free kick collected nice and easily by our keeper. Let's it go short at the back. The cat's through on goal. Can he find the net? He's Oh, he forced a save out of the Warsaw keeper. Now we've got a corner. McDonald now on the edge of the area. Martin now. Can he find a cross? Trying to find the cat but he can't. Reeves now on the edge of the area. Loses out, and that's the end of the highlight, and I think that's going to be it for half-time. It is. We've done well. We've had four shots, two on target. We've shown a bit of attacking flair, and uh, we've had more possession. So that is good. I think I'm going to be I'm going to be assertive. I'm going to say we're not doing badly. If ever, anyone, everyone continues their hard work, then we'll win. I'm going to say there's a lot more to come from them, and... There's a lot more to come from him. Go out second half with them fired up. See if we can get an early goal second half. Our defenders are playing well, which is good. But our attack is sorely lacking. First highlight the second half and we do not have possession. We're trying to win it back, but they're passing it around. They've had a shot from range and it's gone wide. If we can reduce them to long range shooting, I'll be quite happy. Nearly 60 minutes in now, and I'm going to make some changes, I think. Let's have a look. I'm still learning the, who the players are, where they play best as well. I'm going to bring Stockley on for the cat, because he's not had a very good game. He was struggling for fitness as well. Uh, hmm. Froxy Elias. We're going to bring Jake Taylor on for him, and that's going to be it for now. I'm so tempted to change, in fact I am, I'm going to change Froxy Elias' name. We're going to have two players with nicknames in this team already on day one. We're going to call him Foxy Bingo, just because his name sounds like Foxy. So yeah, he's now Foxy Bingo. So we've got Foxy Bingo and the cat. <laughs> Very animal orientated nicknames for this squad already. 72 minutes in, I'm going to make the last change. Uh, Stockley doesn't like being an advance forward, so I'm going to... Put him as a pressing forward on attack. Who's not playing well? Lee Martin, you're not playing well. But we don't have any... I'm going to bring Max Clayton on for you. What do you want to be, Clayton? You can attack. Clark, you can be a winger on attack as well. Taylor, what do you want to be? Uh, that'll do. You can stay on that for now. I'm going to... We're going to go on to the Gagan press. The last uh, few minutes of the game. Give that a go. See if we can grab a goal. Change Clark back to the winger that on attack that I wanted him to be. Yeah, that seems like everything. We're gonna give it a go. If we just one roll of the dice, if we if it pays off, it pays off. If it doesn't, it's only our first game in charge. We've got a highlight and Taylor with the cross trying to find Clark, but it was uh, Darcy's Co uh, Cogley on the uh, or yeah him <laughs> with the double barreled name. He had the shot on the edge of the area. We've got nine minutes left. Come on, guys. We're going to go on to attacking now. We've got another highlight, though. Reeves to Moore Taylor. Back to Reeves to Taylor. Clark trying to find Stockley, but uh, he loses out. They're coming through on goal, and it was a good save from the keeper. I thought they were going to score then. We've got five minutes left. Come on, guys. We're going to show some passion for the last few minutes of the game. Goalkeeper was frustrated by that, but oh well. Three minutes of added time. Come on, can we get a... Uh, a winning goal or is this going to end as a nil-nil draw I think it is this is just going to end the game Sutton with the ball to Cogley back to Sutton Clayton Reeves have a shot Sutton come on ah oh, it's full time nil-nil it's not a it's not a loss it's, it's not a loss there's some positive to take out of that I'm going to say we were unlucky and they seem motivated by that McDonald won man of the match we'll have a quick look and see where we're going to come back so we're still bottom of the table only five points from safety now that point has helped us out so we're one point closer to safety already uh, we'll have a look at the schedule see where we're going to come back I don't want to do too many games 
Uh, we'll come back. We'll come back for maybe. Yeah, no, we'll come back at the end of the chance at the end of the January transfer window. So we'll come back for AFC Wimbledon and Sheffield Wednesday, just so we can have a look to see who I've brought in, how we've done since then. We have got an FA Cup third round against Cheltenham to play as well, so potentially we could be still in the FA Cup. If you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more Football Manager 2019 videos. And remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter at WeaselGamerTV for both of those. And thank you very much for watching.